could be improved if they ditched the BB30. I'm not a fan of BB30. I'm a fan of 27.2, I do like that. And external cables, do love that too. So here on the uh, Super 6, from the Tash is a female version of Super 6. On the Super 6, this is a bike I've had for a few years. And uh, they go all right, man, they go all right. But, uh, so recently we had Tour of Flanders winner on a Super 6 rim brake version. The pros were given a choice, they don't go disc brakes, they go rim. Rim brakes faster, faster wheel changes, the bike's more responsive, just feels more quick and nimble. Um, you don't, don't lose watts and that's the rotor's sapping. Yeah, so wheel changes, dead weight. You yeah, actually half kilo more with a rim brake, uh, disc brake bike rather. And so it just doesn't feel as responsive. So it's dead weight as a pro. So the pros have a choice, as they do in Cannondale, so tip of the helmet to Cannondale for giving their riders a choice what bike they can ride. Specialized BMC, they have to ride uh, disc, that's what the marketing wants. Marketing department decides, so the riders just have to deal with that, part of the contract. But with Cannondale, they've old school let the riders choose what they want to use, and the riders are like, what the fucking matters? We're going to rim brake. Yeah, you won't see a run using a, a, a disc brake bike or whatever, no matter what the marketing says. But I love disc brakes in the wet, I fucking love them. They're really good, I'm like a shopping bike, uh, in the wet going through traffic, disc brakes are like really, really good. I think disc brakes are good for beginners. They give you a lot of confidence in the downhills, you know, you have a bit more stopping power, and I think they're good for, you know, fat riders or overweight riders. Um, you know, because if you're a heavy rider and you're using carbon rims, that can be a bit dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So they're good for that. Or if you're, you know, you could be a lightweight rider and still cook your carbon rims on a big downhill because you're dragging the brakes because you're a noob, which is everyone's a noob at some point. So disc brakes, I would say mostly for noobs or for people like me uh, who like to commute in the wet. They're really good. Otherwise, when I'm going for every second, performance-wise, rim brake for the win. Rim brake for the win. Also want to say, if you like these vegan jerseys, go to locker, L-O-K-K-A.com.my, 50 bucks USD, free shipping anywhere in the world. And they're high vis, they don't fade. High quality, the best vegan jerseys you're gonna get. Um, except for mine, maybe. But no, they're seriously, they're definitely the best high vis, you know, all round jersey, high vis, very, very good. And I love them, and I love them. So go check out Locker if you want these high vis colors, get them while they're there. Beatbox. Yeah. Um, that is just like the BB30. Why beatbox? kids Kids. <laughs> <laughs> 